Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Uh, well, quick question. I see uh, Omar Ivan Ramos Navarro. Hey, are you there? Yes, teacher. Good evening. Uh, I have a question. Are, are you part of this group? Yes. Because <laughs> I have never seen your name before or I have never seen you on a, on the video calls. <laughs> no, teacher, lo que pasa es que la semana pasada no me pude conectar ningún día. Oh, okay. Pero sí, la semana antepasada sí ingresé. Really? Sí, es que dice que yo en realidad no pedí este horario, pedí otro, pero en este me ubicaron. Yo sabía que se me iba a complicar ingresar en este horario. Ah, okay. All right. Yeah, because I was going to ask you, like, I saw the name and I was like, is he part of this group? Because, you know, I haven't seen you, like, here, here in the call. So I thought probably he's not on the right place. But if you're no. so welcome. <laughs> nice to see you here. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So we are about, guys, almost about to finish the module, actually. And uh, we just have uh, four more classes. No, three. Yes, I'm mistaken. Three more classes and then we're going to be over. So uh, just for you to remember on Friday, because we are not having classes on Wednesday, we are going to have an exam on Friday, which is going to be like the final practice, let's say, or final exam about this module. So I'm telling you since now, just for you to be ready, I remember that I told you a little bit about it last week, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, I'm just confirming that information. So Rodrigo, by any chance, did you finish the platform already? Uh, yes, teacher, I did finished. Okay, one question. Did, were you able to get a certificate already or not? Um, aún no lo he revisado, teacher. Okay, so I need you to check that, please, in case it says that you are uh, rolled on assistant, please let me know, because in that case, the platform will not give you a certificate. So I need you to verify that after the class. And if you do not have that option available, let me know and send me your full name the email address and your phone number. So I will have to send that information to administration so they can change that for you and you will be able to receive the certificate. Other than that, oh, that, that information is for you too, Omar. So, because I will have access to the platform until Friday. Far from Friday, I won't be able to help you because, uh, the accesses that we have or the, the access that we have to the platform to help you and things like that, we don't longer get those accesses. So after after Friday, I won't be able to help you if you, if you tell me something like that. So please try to verify that information like this week in case there's something going on on the platform and you're not able to, you know, to do something or any other question that you might have about this course, please let me know in advance so we don't have any problem like next week. Because other than that, you will have to, to try to get in contact directly with Invest Corporativo or someone directly from administration. Because after Friday, for example, on Saturday, I will not have access to your information because we're gonna finish module on Friday. So uh, welcome, Claudia, I see that you're connected right now. Probably your classmates or the others are going to be connecting throughout the session. So uh, what do you guys remember about the previous class that we had? What do you guys remember about it? Uh, 
All right, I can see more people right now. Now we have Luis Montano, we have Georgina that just connected, we have Rocio. Welcome, guys. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. So now uh, I was asking a question and I was uh, asking if you guys remember what was last class about. What do you guys remember about it? Any idea? <clears throat> um, teacher, um, I remember uh, use how much in how many? Use how much and how many, okay. And can we say that if I use how much, is that for countable or non-countable? Uh, how much is for not countable and okay. how many is for countable? For countable, okay, good. What about if I have, for example, let's say that I have uh, the noun friendship. If I have friendship, is that countable or uncountable for you? This question is in general, not a specifically or not only for for Rodrigo, this is in general. It's countable. Countable. If if I say friendship, will that be countable for you? It's uncountable. Uncountable, because there that's a friendship, and we cannot count the friendship. It is something, let's say, it's something that we cannot see because friendship is friendship, so we cannot see it actually. So guys, I'm gonna share with you right now a practice that we're going to have for today and this practice is about the previous class. So what I want you to do is to take, a, you know, a notebook, take a notebook and what I need you to do is to write whether it is countable or non-countable. So you will have exactly five minutes to complete it or seven the most. We're gonna do this practice, part letter A and part letter B. So please do it in your notebook. And if you have a question, let me know, okay? So you guys ready? <clears throat> Luis Chavez, welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. So uh, I need you guys to start right now. I will, I, will, uh, I will share the screen with you. I will leave it like that. So if you're using your phone, you can still watch in your phone. Or if you're using a computer, you will still see that on your computer. Uh, when the seven minutes are over, I will stop sharing and automatically you will have one minute to send the information through the WhatsApp group. That's what we're going to do, okay? Is it clear, guys? Is it clear what we're doing? <clears throat> yes, teacher. I read. Good. Oh, I see another person. I see uh, someone named Herbert. Hey, Herbert Rodriguez, are you part of this group? Hello. Hi, teacher. Permit me a second, please. Ah, okay. see new people today it's like wow oh welcome andrea i see that christian is connecting welcome christian eh, no sé si puedo incorporarme cuando la termine. 
Yes, that's fine. That's okay. Le agradezco mucho, teacher. No, you're welcome. All right, so uh, let's see Christian. Christian, are you there? Hello. Yes, teacher. All right, so Christian, we're doing a practice right now. I need you to verify in your phone the practice that you have in front of your screen. This one specifically is the one that we're working on. You have seven minutes, well, actually five, five minutes right now to do this practice. Uh, okay. uh, R8 only. Oh, I'm sorry. No, both parts, part letter A and part letter B. Okay. It's not necessary for part letter B, it's not necessary that you write the whole sentence. You can only write the answer. You don't necessarily have to write everything, okay? Okay, okay. Good. Wow, so for the first time we are 11. That's new, wow. <clears throat> well, apparently Herbert, he disconnects. So something might have happened, probably. In case you have any question about something or something that you do not understand, please let me know. We just have three minutes left. Well, if you finish before the time, you can go ahead and send it uh, through WhatsApp group. If you finish before, of course, if not, that's fine too. Okay, I received some of you already. Let's see who is this? Rodrigo. Uh, 
I received Rodrigo already. So let's see, we just have, well, that's it guys. Time's up. So I'm gonna stop sharing right now. It doesn't matter if you were not able to finish. Whatever you did, please go ahead and send it right now. The time is over. Okay, I already received um, Christian. The doctor's hands grading, Christian. Let's see, we already got, we already got, who's this? Oh, Georgina, okay. We got Ivan, that I guess that's Omar Ivan, right? And I guess this one is Luis Montano. I'm, yeah, yes, okay, great. So I'm just waiting for Luis Chavez. I'm waiting for Claudia. I'm waiting for Rocio and Andrea that she said that she called. So she does not count. All right. So what about you guys, Luis, Rocio? I haven't seen yours yet, Rocio. Teacher, tengo problemas con mi teléfono, con la cámara de mi teléfono, pero ya tengo la tarea. Ah, okay, good. What about you, Luis Chavez? Yo tengo problemas con mi compu, teacher, y no, 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 no lo he podido terminar. <clears throat> okay, I see Rocillos. Okay, good. Thanks. Okay, okay. All right, thank you. Now, I'm just waiting for Luis Chavez, and I'm also waiting for Claudia. Those are the, well, you guys are the only two that I'm missing right now. So I'm expecting you to send it like in, within a minute. I'm expecting you to do that. Now guys, we're gonna go with today's class and today we're gonna see a little bit of grammar once again. And today we're gonna focus on adverbs of frequency and questions. So we're gonna see some adverbs of frequency. I'm pretty sure that you know some of them. So it's not gonna be that difficult for you or you will have an idea. As soon as you see one example, you will probably recognize some of them and you are going to be able to, to know or to have an idea about what we're gonna see today. But when you listen to that adverbs of frequency, does anything come to your mind or do you have any idea about what an adverb of frequency is? Not at all. Um, for example, teacher, always, never, usually. Right. Yes, correct. Yes, so you have an idea, Rodrigo. Thanks. So that's pretty much what we're going to see today, guys. <clears throat> Adverbs of frequency, of course. We use them to, uh, you know, to give some sort of frequency or how many times a day or, you know, how often we do things. That's the way we're gonna use them. So I'm going to read all of them. I'm pretty sure that you know some of them, for example, always, you know what it means, right? So some of them are going to be, you know, uh, probably not new for you, but some others probably will be a little bit new for you, but not a hundred percent. So we call them frequency or adverbs of frequency, guys, because of course they have a percentage. What does it mean? It means that if you say, or if you use any of those, you have to take into consideration what percentage you think you're, or you're planning to use. For example, we have always, which is 100%, usually, which is 90%, normally and generally, which are 80%, often or often and frequently, which are 70%. We have sometimes, which is 50%, occasionally, which is 30%, seldom, which is 10%, hardly ever and rarely, which are 5%, and never, that is of course, 
I'm sorry, what? I heard to something, but I, I don't know if I was saying. Perdón, perdón, teacher. No, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. All right, so we got never, which is the zero, zero percent. So we're gonna, everyone is going to repeat uh, the adverbs of frequency. So we're gonna start with you, Omar. So I would like to listen to you actually repeating the adverbs of frequency. If you are there. Okay, te okay teacher. Ah, okay, good. Always. Mm -hmm. Usually. Mm -hmm. Normally. Okay. Uh, generally. 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 Okay. Often. Okay. Frequently. Okay. I don't know. No, Sometimes. that's good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sometimes. Uh, I don't know that. We say occasionally. Occasionally. Okay. Seldom. Okay. Hardly ever. Okay. And I don't know. Rarely. Rarely. No. And never. Rare. 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 Okay. Rarely. Okay. Yes. Yes. That's and good. never. Thank you so much, Omar. Now, okay. Rodrigo. Okay. Always or usually? No, I mean all of them. Okay, always. Okay, usually, um, I usually walk to work. Oh, what I, no, what I need you to do right now is just to read the adverbs of frequency. The examples, we're going to read them later. Only this part. Oh, okay, okay. Always, mm -hmm. uh, usually, mm -hmm. normally, or wow. generally. Good. Often. Okay. Frequently. Okay. Some things. No, that's sometimes. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, occasionally. Good. Uh, seldom. Mm -hmm. Hardly ever. Okay. Or rarely. Rarely. And never. Okay. Rarely and never. Good. Thank you very much. Now, Christian, we go with you, Christian. Okay. Always. Mm -hmm. Usually. Okay. Normally. Good. Generally. Generally, okay. Often. Okay. Frequently. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Good. Occasionally. Good. Seldom. All right. Hardly ever. Mm -hmm. Rarely. Okay. Never. Good. Thank you very much. Rocio, we go with you, Rocio. Always. Okay. Usually. Normally. Generally. Often. Frequently, sometimes, mm -hmm. occasionally, okay. seldom, hardly ever, rarely, never. Okay, I'm listening that you say this one rarely. Even though I'm uh, una A ahí, esa A no suena como A, sino que como E. We say rare, rarely. Rarely, rarely. Okay. Thank you. Georgina, we we'll go with you, Georgina. <laughs> Always. Okay. Usually. <laughs> Normally. Generally. Often. Frequently. Okay. Sometimes. Okay. 
occasionally uh, is seldom? No, seldom. Seldom. Mm -hmm. Seldom. Uh, hardly, hardly ever. Mm -hmm. Rarely. Okay. Never. Good, thank you very much. Now we go with Luis Chavez. Okay, teacher. <clears throat> Always, usually, normally, gen generally. No, general. General, often, frequently, frequently, mm -hmm. sometimes, occasionally. No, occasionally. Occasionally. Sheldon? No, it's hardly Sheldon. Uh, Sheldon. No, it's like seldom. Así como está escrito, the way it is written. Seldom. Seldom. Mm -hmm. Seldom. Hardly ever. Mm -hmm. Rarely. 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 Mm -hmm. Never. Never. Good. Thank you very much. Luis Montano, we go with you. Good evening. Yes. I wish. Usually. 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 Normally. Mm -hmm. Generally. Okay. Often, okay. frequently, mm -hmm. sometimes, okay. occasionally, 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 mm -hmm. seldom, hardly ever, rarely. Never. Okay, now we'll go with you, Claudia. Okay. Always. Uh, usually. Mm -hmm. uh, normally. Okay. Gen generally. Mm -hmm. Often. Uh, frequently. Sometimes. 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 Uh, Occasionally. 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 Seldom. Uh, rarely ever. Uh, rarely. Never. Thank you very much. Now we're going to go with the examples and we're going to start with Rodrigo number one. Then we're going to have Omar Ivan number two. Then we're going to have number three for Rocio, number four for Georgina, number five for Luis Chavez, number six, Luis Montano, number seven, Christian, number eight, uh, let's see who else is here. I think I said everyone pretty much. Yes, and then we're gonna repeat once again, uh, Christian, and we're gonna repeat once again, Omar. So let's go. <clears throat> Okay, I always study after class. Okay, pay attention here, uh, Rodrigo. Now, when we, you, when we have a word that it starts with the letter S, we don't say S study, we say study, only the sound of the letter S. Repeat it again, please. Okay, I always study after class. Good, that was good, thanks so much. Now, number two. I usually walk to work. Good, that was good. Thanks so much. Number three. I normally get good marks. Good marks. Okay, good. Number four. I often read in bed at night. Okay, thank you. Number five.
Luis Chávez. Ahorita, teacher. Sería. I sometimes sing in the shower. Do you? You sometimes sing in the shower? I do. I sometimes. <laughs> you do. You didn't understand the joke, <laughs> did you? No entendiste el chiste, right? Because I ask you. I mean, the sentence, la oración dice, I sometimes sing in the shower. Algunas veces canto en, en el baño. So I ask you, ¿lo haces? So Rocio said, I do. So that, that was the joke. Pretty much. Thank you, Luis. Now we go with Luis Montano. I, okay, I occasionally go to bed late. Go to bed late. Okay. Go to bed late. Good, thank you very much, Christian. You're gonna have two, this one and this one, Christian. Or no, Claudia, no, let's see. Who was it, Claudia or Christian? Okay. Claudia, okay, um, let's go with you, Claudia. I said that. Mm -hmm. uh, like the way the way you see it, la forma en que lo ves, put. Put. Mm -hmm. um, I said them. Mm -hmm. Sí, está de verdad. Yeah, I sell them, yeah. I sell them. Eh, pero la siguiente palabra no sé cómo se pronuncia. No sé si la, es de la consistir. misma forma en que la ves, salt. Okay, I sell them food, mm -hmm. sell on my food. Okay, thank you. Now, uh, Christian. Are you driving, Christian, by any chance? Hola, teacher. It's your turn, Christian. Okay, that's not a problem. Now we're going to go then with uh, Rodrigo once again, and then we're going to go with the last one with Omar. So, Rodrigo. Okay. I hardly ever get angry. 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 Okay, good. Omar. Okay, uh, beige, beige. I don't know how to say we that. We say vegetarians. Vegetarians? Mm -hmm. Yes. Vegetarian yes. never eat meat. Vegetarians never eat meat. Okay, thank you. So, I mean, uh, these things are not difficult. I understand that those are not complicated, are easy to understand. You have probably seen them in some books, some of you already have an idea about it now, so we're just gonna move on. For example, you need to understand the position, the exactly position that we're going to have with the adverbs of frequency. For example, when we have other verb that is not the verb to be, the position of the adverb of frequency will be right here in the middle of the subject and the main verb. All the verbs except for the verb be. You see subject, adverb of frequency, main verb. Example, Daniel always passes his exams. You see right in the middle of the subject and the verb. What happens with the verb be? The verb be has something different. Every single time that we use the verb to be, the adverb of frequency is going to be after the verb to be. For example, subject plus verb to be plus the adverb of frequency and of course the complement. So we have an example. He is always happy. Those are the things that we need to remember. All the verbs in simple present are going to have this position 
all the, the, the times that we want to use the adverse of frequency and the verb to be, this is the position that we're going to put in. Now we're gonna move on to that if there's no any other question. And we need to pay attention to these guys and we always need to remember that. Why? Because this is very important. Those ones or these adverbs of frequency that you can see here, example, usually, normally, often, frequently, sometimes, and occasionally, those adverbs of frequency can be at the beginning of a sentence. For example, I can say occasionally, coma, I like to eat Thai food. Or I could say, I occasionally like to eat Thai food. Why? Solo es de recordar the structures, okay? So, but basically what they are saying here is that those examples of adverbs of frequency that you can see here, you can put it at the beginning. But in contrast, in contrast, these others, you cannot, never ever put it at the beginning of a sentence. So you will always have to remember the exact position. For example, you cannot say always, I like to eat Thai food. No, we can't. These ones here, we cannot put it at the beginning. Even though we use a comma, that's not possible. So we always have to say, I always like to eat Thai food in case we want to use always. These ones we have here, yes, we can put them at the beginning, but we also have to use a comma. That's gonna be the, the information that you need to remember just to know in, in case you're having an exam or something like that. Those are little rules that you need to remember. Now, it says here that we use hardly ever and never with positive, not negatives. Cualquiera pensaría que cuando decimos never, that's negative, right? Porque estamos diciendo nunca. But in English, it's not negative. It's weird, believe it or not. So we have an example here. She hardly ever comes to the parties. Ella rara vez viene a las fiestas. So even though tienen como un sentido o suenan negatives, but they are not negatives, okay? So we have another example here that says, they never say thank you. Ellos nunca dicen gracias. So even though they sound, suenan como negatives, but they, but they are not negatives. So this one little word, ever, we use it for negative statements and we use it for questions, which means alguna vez, for example, have you ever been to New Zealand? Alguna vez has estado en Nueva Zelanda? Have you ever been to New Zealand? I haven't ever, yo puedo decir I haven't ever, o le podría quitar este negativo, and let me write it down just for you to have an idea. A, I've never been to 10 periods. Now, can you notice the difference? If you use the negative, you write ever. If you don't use the negative, you write never. So that's pretty much the difference that we have. With the information that I just told you, is there any question so far? Does any one of you have any question? Or is it clear? Well, I'm gonna guess that's clear. So I'm gonna move on. Here we're just once again, uh, remembering a little bit of the position of the adverb in a sentence. I already told you uh, previously that when we use any other verb except the verb be, this is pretty much the formula or the position that we 
to remember. So let me move on here. I'm gonna move on this part. And let me check. All right. It's important, guys, to know that in English, we not only have adverbs of frequency, but we also have expressions of frequency, okay? Adverbs of frequency and expressions of frequency are not the same thing, but are similar. Why? Because when we, you use expressions of frequency, of course, it's because those expressions are giving a little bit of frequency, saying the, the times of, or how many times you do something, you know, the frequency, or like, for example, how many times a day, and so on and so on. So we're gonna see some expressions of frequency here that are going to help you to understand a little bit better. For example, when we want to know about the frequency, cuando queramos saber acerca de la frecuencia, always, always the question that we are going to use is how often? How often is going to always be the question to ask about the frequency of an action? We place it at the beginning of the question. For example, how often do you eat pupusas how often do you eat pupusas if i ask you that question uh let's see if i ask you that question um rodrigo what would you say if i ask you how often do you eat pupusas um for example i eat pupusas once a week once a week, there you are not using an adverb of frequency, but you are using an expression of frequency. Can you try to use right now, uh, Omar, an adverb of frequency with the same question? How often do you eat pupusas? Now try to use an adverb of frequency. What would you say if I ask you that question? Okay, I eat pupusas three times uh, a week. Three times a week, okay. You use, utilizaste una expression of frequency. ¿Podrías utilizar un adverb of frequency y no una expression? I always. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I always eat pupusas on Sunday. Okay, that's good. All right, so thank you so much. Now, I need you to understand that even though both of them are una son adverbs in others expressions, they are not equal or they are not the same, but they are similar. So both things are helping us to know, you know, the frequency. So every single time that you want to know about a frequency, do not forget that the question we ask is how often. That's going to be the question that you are always going to ask. For example, how often did you go to the cinema? How often did you go to the cinema? Or how often does Mary cook? We can use some expressions like once a day, twice a week, three times a month, four times a year, etc. Oh, four times, five times, etc. So in English, guys, when you are learning, cuando estamos aprendiendo inglés, uh, se nos pasa o se nos permite que digamos one time. That's okay. I mean, even Americans or native speakers of the language, if you say one time, they are going to understand it. That's okay. I'm not saying that it's not correct. It is correct, but... With the difference that if you say once, si tú dices este once, es lo mismo que decir one time. What is the difference? The difference is that this word once is commonly used for native speakers. Es comúnmente utilizada por nativo hablantes. So if you say once, si usted dice once en vez de one time, usted va a sonar more native, okay? 
But if you say one time or if you feel comfortable saying one time, that's okay. It will be up to you. Another one, instead of saying two times, you can say twice, okay? And the, this little word, esta misma palabra, twice, va a ser como que usted esté diciendo two times. It's pretty much the same thing. But it will be up to you if you want to use it or not. Now, any question, guys? Any question so far? Alguna pregunta hasta el momento? Or are we getting clear with that? Yes, clear, teacher. Clear. Okay, so I'm going to move on. And here we have some other examples of expressions of frequency. For example, we can say every evening, every morning, every night, every day, every weekend, every Saturday, every Monday, every week, every year. For example, Mary cooks every day. I play tennis every Sunday. So something that is very important that you remember is that the rest of frequency expressions are placed at the end of a sentence. That is the position that we are going to have with the expressions of frequency. So as you can see, the position of uh, expression of frequency is completely different than the position of an adverb of frequency. But at the end of the day, both of them are going to help us to understand about the frequency. Now, if there's no uh, questions at this point, so we're gonna see what we have. And this is pretty much the, the synthesis, let's say because everything we saw here. Example, how often? It's for you to know the frequency. How often do you brush your teeth? If I ask you that question, necesito que todos me den una respuesta a esa pregunta. How often do you brush your teeth? Let's see, podrían escribirla, or if you want to say it, si la quieren decir, el Rocío, for example. Four ten, times a day. Four times a day. Okay, now uh, let's see, Rodrigo. If I ask you, how often do you brush your teeth? Um, I brush my teeth three times a day. Three times a day, excellent. Omar, the same question. How often do you brush your teeth? I brush my teeth uh, three times. A day. Three times a day. Excellent. Let's see, Luis Montano. How often do you brush your teeth? Luis Montano? I think he's not there. Or Georgina. Georgina, if I ask you the question, how often do you brush your teeth? What would you say? Uh, three times a day. Three times a day? Daily. Okay. Now let's see Luis Chavez. How often do you brush your teeth? Three times, uh, three times uh, uh, a day, teacher. Three times a day. Claudia, how often do you brush your teeth? Claudia? She's not there, probably. Or she's not even on the call. I guess she disconnected. Yeah, she. I guess she disconnected. She's no longer here. Well, so if there's no any question like that, we're gonna go to the practice, guys. So please, I need you to take, you know, to take a screenshot of that with your phone because we're going to move on to the breakout rooms. All right, so you let me know when you're ready so I can move on to number two.
Ready, teacher. Okay. And this one, I need you to find five, five adverbs of frequency. It's really easy, actually. So only five. And this is going to be number three. What you're going to do here is that you are only going to select letter A, letter B, or letter D. That's it. So if you took the screenshot right now, so I'm going to stop sharing and we are going to go directly to the breakout rooms. So let's see. Just give me a moment, I'm just moving people here. All right, so please go ahead and join the room. So I will be checking that your work.
We're just gonna wait for the others to come back to the main session. All right, so I see that the majority is coming back. So guys, did you finish the exercises or you didn't? Did you finish the exercises? No. The end. All right, so, well, so that's gonna be practice for, for tomorrow then. Well, that's gonna be guys pretty much all that we're gonna have for today. If you haven't finished the platform, please remember that you have only this week for you to complete the platform. If there's any question or something, remember that we have the WhatsApp groups or you can contact me directly and I can be there to help you out, okay? Other than that, that's going to be all for today. Thank you so much for attending to the class and see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. Have a good night, teacher. Good night.